You'll be surprised that Excel can implement concurrent engineering, especially in the early design phases. In concurrent engineering, tasks are executed simultaneously and not sequentially. In this video, we'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel with three easy steps. Finding durations of sequential and concurrent projects in Excel, calculate concurrent cost saving and visualizing it, and comparing concurrent engineering and project crashing. By the end, you'll know exactly how to implement concurrent engineering to shorten project timelines and improve efficiency. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Step 1 is finding durations of sequential and concurrent projects in Excel. Our case study focuses on a modular construction project with four main tasks. All tasks have finished a start or a first relationship to their predecessor. For example, the high-level design of modules must be completed before beginning a more specific and detailed design. By adding up all durations, we can find the finish date of this sequential project on day 75. The Gantt chart clearly animates our sequential project, for example, the task bar for detailed design appears after the end of task bar for design of modules. This also shows that all activities are on the project critical path. Our aim is to implement concurrent engineering in which tasks can overlap. This way, successor activities can start before the full completion of predecessor activities. For example, our procurement team begins sourcing materials using estimated specs three days before the detailed design is finalized. Also, off-site manufacturing starts seven days before material procurement is fully complete. Considering our overlap or lead times, we can find start and finish dates for the off-site construction project. T1 starts on day 0 and finishes on day 10. Considering the 5-day overlap, T2 starts on day 5 and finishes on day 25. T3 has a 3-day overlap with T2 and therefore starts on day 22. With a duration of 15 days, T3 finishes at day 37. Finally, T4 starts on day 30 and finishes on day 60. As the Gantt chart shows, the concurrent project finishes on day 60 and shortens the project timeline by 15 days, which is critical to integrated product development or IPD. If you want to draw Gantt charts or implement critical path method or CPM in Excel, the video links are provided in the description below. Step 2 is calculating cost savings and visualizing it. Considering resource requirements for our tasks, we can find daily costs. For example, task T1 or design of modules has a daily cost of $1,000. Since T1 is our first task with no overlap with the predecessor, there are no cost savings resulting from concurrent engineering. However, T2 has 5 days of overlap with its predecessor. And considering its daily cost of $1,500, we are looking at $7,500 of cost saving for T2. In the same way, cost savings for T3 will be $3,600 and for T4 will be $14,000. To animate this, we can select the two columns of task name and concurrent cost savings. Then navigate to insert tab and recommend the charts. A clustered column chart is a good recommendation. Feel free to adjust the style to suit your project management reports. For example, right click on a column and select format data series. Select a pattern field and choose horizontal brick. You may choose a yellow background and black foreground to create a suitable match for our prefabricated construction project. The concurrent cost saving chart helps stakeholders visualize both financial and schedule related project goals. There needs to be cross disciplinary coordination among teams of designers, engineers, and contractors to ensure that concurrent engineering is successfully implemented. Step 3 is comparing concurrent engineering and project crashing. This step helps you to differentiate concurrent engineering and crashing project activities as the two strategies to improve project timelines. Project crashing focuses on shortening the duration of specific tasks by adding extra resources such as additional staff, overtime, and equipment. This increases cost due to the need for additional resources and potential overtime pay. Project crashing can significantly reduce project timelines, especially for critical path activities but at a higher financial cost. Concurrent or simultaneous engineering, however, involves multiple teams working on different aspects of a project simultaneously. For example, design, procurement, and manufacturing teams collaborate from the earliest stages of product management. Concurrent engineering reduces costs by identifying and solving potential issues early on. This minimizes the need for costly redesigns and delays. Finally, concurrent engineering leads to shorter development cycles, improved product quality, and efficient resource utilization. Overall, crashing is a more targeted approach to expedite to specific tasks. However, it often results in increased costs. Concurrent engineering aims to streamline the entire development process and reduce costs by early and continuous collaboration. This approach requires careful planning, coordination, and information sharing to manage dependencies and avoid excessive rework. And there you have it, an easy and short implementation of concurrent engineering using only three simple steps in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please remember to like and consider subscribing. I look forward to reading your comments and seeing you in the next one.